Okay, time to make some changes. A couple of years ago, I made this screen room to go under the awning. It was a great spot for sitting outside, even if it was rainy. And it was reasonably safe from bugs in the evening. I used this mosquito bed net that I bought on Amazon since it was only $25 at the time and I've adapted it to my needs. Okay, see what I'm doing again? I'm sinking even more time and effort into a cheap screen which has the fatal flaw that the holes in the netting are too big. I should cut my losses and remake the whole thing with no seam netting. But, <laughs> oh well, on with the video. I sewed shut the overlaps on the sides and I've added better clips to replace the simple loops at the corners. And I added Velcro to attach it to the poles and zippers to go in and out. A few things still bug me, like the screen touching the ground, which gets wet and it picks up twigs and stuff, and the Velcro, which was a terrible idea because it gets caught in the netting all the time. So it's time to switch them out for some C-clips. And while I'm changing the clips, I'm going to add a few more. Since it's impossible to make marks on the netting, I'm pinning these little fabric squares to the netting to mark the spots. And I also need to fix this hole that I made by catching the netting on the side of the door. Okay, time to start sewing. For the clips that will be attached to the screen itself, I'm going to make these little squares to spread out the sewing points so it doesn't rip the screen. The biggest C-clips I could find online are still too small for the poles I have, so I had to heat them up with a heat gun, and when the plastic was softened, open them up just a little bit, then plunge them into cold water to cool the plastic back down and set it. They just need to be a little bit bigger, like this. Then they need to be sewn to the squares, and then the squares need to be sewn to the netting. To get rid of the Velcro ones, I'm going to carefully unpick the stitching so that I can reuse those squares. And of course, working on a huge screen room is not fun. Once it's off the framework of the awning, it becomes a big amorphous blob. There's no landmarks, no seams at the corners, and it's too big to lay it out flat. The hard part is finding the spot you want to work on, and then making sure you don't sew things on upside down. And it's very, very important not to lose your spot, because you'll never find it again. And I don't want to have to go outside and set the whole thing up again. For the hole, I'm going to tidy up the rough edges, and then I'm going to pin on a new piece of screen. This is a scrap of the finer netting, but it'll have to do. One flash of inspiration I had was to use these straps. They're the ones that keep the awning rolled up, and I realized I can use them for the screen room as well, by making a second set of straps with the same type of buckle. The strapping tends to fray where it's cut, so the trick is to hold the ends over the heat of a match to melt the loose threads. The ends are folded over and sewed down firmly. I had added these elastic loops with a clip to the corners of the screen to attach it to some D-rings that I'd added under the awning. I sewed them on really well, 
so it's going to take a bit to unpick all the stitches without tearing the netting. One strap goes in each corner, and then mark the position for the straps in the middle as well. So here is my awning. I did another video that shows how it was constructed and how it works. I'll put a link to it up in the corner. I just have to find all my loops and straps and then I can show you how I set up the screen room. The buckle clips are easy to use and I love the fact that I get two uses out of the same set of straps. The outside corners still have the same elastic loops that go over the ends of the pole. And more C-clips hold it to the side poles. The buckles also let me tighten up the top edge. And finally, no more Velcro. I still need to add some loops for sticking it down in the corners and maybe some magnets to hold it to the side of the van. But for now, just not having that tangly Velcro is a big improvement. A few more changes are coming up, like maybe some sidewalls for privacy and to keep out the rain, but that will be for the next video. Stay tuned and thanks for watching.